So if you've ever wanted to create presentations that people can watch on their own time or share presentations with colleagues who couldn't attend a live session or capture presentations for future reference or training purposes and upload them to YouTube, then the new Google Slides recording feature is for you. Previously, you've probably had to use a third-party tool like Canva, ClipChamp, or even Microsoft PowerPoint to record a slide presentation, but not any longer. Today, I'm unboxing the screen recording feature that Google is rolling out within Google Slides. Firstly, it's really easy to set this up. You'll see the Rec button in the top right of your Slides document. Click on that and select record new video. The presentation will open in full screen and there'll be a big red record button. You can choose to move the camera around the screen or you can even turn it off if you want. You've got a 30 minute recording limit with this feature and you can bring up speaker notes at the same time. I recommend only doing this if you've got two screens though, as it gets messy otherwise flicking between the two windows. There's only two settings, which are for selecting the audio and camera input at this time. You can pause the recording at any point and then click the red button to restart it. When you're finished, Click the red button and then save to drive or re-record if you want to start from scratch. The recording will be saved to a new folder in Google Drive called Slides Recordings and you can then share it with other people just like a normal drive um, and play it in Google Drive too. And that's it really. It's a quick and simple way to cre create videos from Google Slides without having to use third-party software and being able to find it in your own Google Drive storage as opposed to having to save it somewhere else. So I think it'll probably be perfect for most people. I know it's pretty good for me, but I just have two feature requests. At the moment, it can only be downloaded as a dot webm file, dot webm file, which makes it difficult to convert into um, files, for example, for YouTube. And the other one is the ability to do basic editing. I'm not naturally a one take kind of person and you do not want to know how many times it took for me to record this in order to get the product you see today. So what do you think of this new feature? Will you use it? If so, how? Comment below, let me know.